put a little tacky tack there, a little ticky tack there. Tacky tack, tacky tack, everywhere, tacky tack. Hey guys, so today we're actually gonna build a stand for this box pan brake. We've had it up on this table for a couple weeks now. The video guys, they're pretty sick of it. So we're gonna use some of the metal we have kicking around here in the studio. Charlie, he made a nice drawing for us to build a stand that'll get it at the right working height. It should be a fun project. Let's get started. Run up the big saw. All right guys, so we've had the seven by 12 bandsaw now for a few months. It's working really well. It's got a hydraulic feed control, which really helps you get that cut aligned and also have that feed rate be nice and consistent. It's actually got four speeds. It's also got a coolant system, keeps that blade nice and cool with nice cutting fluid. And then it actually recirculates. So there's a little filter down there and pump. So we got our scribe line. We're actually gonna lower the hydraulic feed control so there's no resistance and so we can drop it down. Now that I can see we're lined up there, our kerf is gonna be right on that scribe line. We're able to put a little more pressure on it. We can get this thing tightened up and cut. So we got one half of the base kind of made up here. We got a nice long bottom support. This is gonna give plenty of leverage and plenty of support for the box pan brake so you don't tip it over as you're bending. We've got a nice upright here that's gonna kind of follow the lines of the box and pan brake. We got a good vertical support. Once we weld this together, we'll actually have a nice plate here for it to mount to using the provided holes. So now we're gonna start cutting the other side. So here's a tech tip. When you're making mitered cuts like this, it's best to set your angle once and make all of your cuts. So we actually cut our one structural support here and our upright. We then also are gonna make the other support from the same cut that we did the first time. And then we know they're actually gonna be the same angle. So that's a nice little tip. Also while we got it in that setup, we're gonna cut this piece. Then we'll go back set it up to a 90 degree cut, and make the rest of the cuts we need to do. Cut. So if you guys wanna know how the sausage is made, when the product guys have to run out to a meeting, video guys step in. When the video guy has to do something, then we bring in the intern. We got the new low profile welding cart and the Eastwood Elite MP200i. This is a solid setup for a small garage. With a smaller tank of 60 cubic foot, you can actually fit it underneath the workbench. You know, your standard 36 inch bench, you can have about 32 inches of clearance. This will actually tuck away underneath. So if you're just an occasional welder, this is perfect for your garage. Now that we've got everything ground down, Nick did a great job. We got it set up here on the table. We're actually gonna use some of our clamps to hold it down in place while we tack. We'll probably then flip, tack the other side, and get it back on the table. 
to ensure it stays flat on the table while we tack both sides, we're gonna try and keep our tacks in the valley of the tubing so they don't stand proud. Put a little tacky tack there, a little ticky tack there. Tacky tack, tacky tack, everywhere, tacky tack. Well, we got the first one welded up on one side. We'll finish weld this other side, and then we'll start welding the second upright. We're gonna have Nick do the welding, because he's about to go into overtime. Let's get going. All right, guys, so while we were welding these uprights together, Nick actually CNC plasma cut us some end caps and some mounting plates. All we got to do now is weld these together, get the box of handbrake mounted on, and then we're going to put one horizontal cross member to keep the whole thing square. We got everything welded up and it came out great. The CNC plasma cut gussets really add a nice finishing touch to this stand. Now we're gonna prep it, clean it off, and paint it back in R&D. We're gonna use a 2K air spray epoxy primer and some chassis black. Once we got that all done, we're gonna mount it up and then we're actually gonna make a threaded rod for the center support that should keep everything really stable and prevent it from shifting left to right. So let's get this project wrapped up. Boom! Man, this is really coming together. So everything's painted up. We got it mounted here. All we're gonna do is add two supports with some 5 8 inch rod, and that should really help eliminate any of this little bit of rocking we got. This is gonna work great. The height's perfect. Let's do this. Get a quarter here, coming down the height of this square. Be able to replicate that on all four sides. Just really straight forward. In there, give a little wacky whack with the center punch.
So we got the stand all wrapped up, it's painted, it's bolted together, we got our support rods in, it turned out great. But we're gonna have one more finishing touch. We're actually gonna make a little tray, it's gonna go right here, and that way it'll store all of our fingers when we take them off and do box and pan break work. So Nick's gonna CNT cut us a nice piece of metal and we'll bend it up in the break. That's a wrap. So Nick, he was able to cut us up a nice piece of sheet metal. This is 18 gauge, so it's a little thick for this box and pan break when we're doing four feet wide. So we actually made some relief cuts. This is gonna make it easier to bend, and it's also gonna be really easy to lay out because we know exactly where we need to go. So let's bend it up. Now get ourselves a tray. Let's do it. So what he's doing here is taking off the slower support. That's gonna allow us to make two bends tighter together. We have to make an offset here since we made our first bend to come up. Now we gotta come across. This should be quick, easy, and we make this removable for just this job. So this box and pan break stand really turned out nice. It was a quick, fun project that we were able to build with some scrap material we had laying around the shop. We're gonna be doing some more of these, making useful tools, fun projects here in the studio. And if you got any ideas, leave some comments down below. Maybe we'll build a project.